What's up guys? It's Ben 10,000 Live Show, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh! Superhero, and I'm exhausted. Someone kill me, please. Hi, Jess, guys. But, to be honest with you guys, it is damn near one in the morning as of making this video and I'm exhausted so I hope you guys will appreciate the amount of effort that went into this uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys I am dog tired so if I seem a little monotone I promise you it's not because I'm bored with the deck if this is my favorite deck I'm just I'm just really tired so I've been up for damn near 24 hours <laughs> anyway let's uh, let's get into this um, Real quick, before we get into the into the nitty gritty of this video, I want you guys to know that I have a video on my other channel where I play Cards Against Humanity with my uh, my fam. <laughs> so if you guys want to, you know, watch me and my family make some offensive jokes, well, you know, go check that out. Might be some fun. Uh, I'll make sure that there's a link in the description for you guys, and one of the end cards will be dedicated to it. All right. That being said, now if you're new here, this is how we do things on the Ben 10,000 YGO channel. What we do is we have some conversation in the front. We will then go into the replay footage of the deck that I'm about to show you. And then we will go over the deck profile. And there will be a time code in the comment section below. It will be pinned so you guys can skip the replays if you don't want to watch and go straight to the deck profile and explanation. So today, guys, we are going to be going with the new ban list a day early. I know, shocker, guys. You're welcome. Stayed up late, making sure I got some good footage for you. And I probably made a lot of crappy plays along the way. I'm on, like, cup number four. Anyway, uh... So we're playing Light Sword, we're playing the new format, so we've got some cards that are going to look a little wonky in there, because, oh, we haven't seen those in a while. And uh, it's going to be fun. We actually have one of my old school favorites back. I'm excited to show this. So without further ado, let's get vibrant.
guys. This is the new uh, September, <laughs> uh, you know, ban list Light Sworn deck. So this is what I came up with. Um, it's kind of an updated version of my old, um, I guess you could, well, it's called Hyperstar back then. But it's basically uh, a hip Hoshinigan version of Light Sworn. And I'm not gonna lie, guys, this deck worked out fairly well. I mean, I fought a lot of competent and I think very competitive decks. I mean, I, ha I fought Heroes, Dino Dolls, I fought a Metaphos Goki deck, Mech Knight Invoked. I put on, I, I fought some decks that I probably should not have won against, and I was able to come out on top. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this ban list, I mean, a lot of people thought that by taking away MX Saber Invoker, you really hurt this list. This, or excuse me, not this list, this deck, but the truth is, I really think this list kind of helped us. Sure, we lost Invoker as, an op as a card option for the deck, but we gained this badass right here. And to be honest with you guys, I did have a uh, Pot of Duality in here, but eventually that had to go. Card Destruction was just a better card for this particular deck. And I'm going to explain to you why. Now, the reason why we have Ash Blossom in this, because I know you guys know I don't really like Ash Blossom. Um, just going to go ahead and F FYI. The only reason I even have them is because my buddy Edwin gave me his spares. And uh, I got I got lucky with that because he's like, I don't really care. So here you go. And then, of course, because they've gotten reprinted as supers, we now have a budget option for Ash Blossoms, which, you know... I mean, it's not much of a budget option, but they're, you know, the newest reprints are the cheapest, so <laughs> let's let's just take what we can get. Um, unfortunately, Called by the Grave got hit to, to two, but I mean, what are you going to do, right? Oh, excuse me, it's late. <sighs> anyway, and then of course I've got the Honest as one of the old traditional hand traps. Truth is, I just needed another level four light monster. And Honest was just the only one I could think to put in here that was decent. I mean, to be honest with you, I really wanted to put Diana the Light Spirit, but since we don't have her here in the TCG just yet, I don't want to toss her in here. I mean, and Honest he helped me win one game, I'm not going to lie, but for the most part, it's just another card to mix with Thrasher or uh, Shade Brigadine here and just make Minerva, essentially. But every one of these cards was really, like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really think this deck is solid. I mean, like, we got the Rise to Full Height with Omega Combo still. So we can, like, make it to where our opponent can't attack. We have uh, Photon Sanctuary. So we can throw out uh, Hippo Shinigan here. And make all our light monsters really big. I mean, we've got everything we need to get to our negators, like Archfiend Abyss and Dawn Dragster. And to be honest with you, Exiton Knight is just easier to play over Black Rose. Excuse me. <laughs> Which is really just... I think that it's... Exiton being back is going to help the Light Swarm deck overall. I mean, truth be told, it's going to help out any deck that really can pump out level 4 monsters. Heroes can do it. But everyone needs to remember, if you are at a tournament and somebody plays Exiton Knight, remember that you cannot take any battle damage after that effect goes off. Please remember that. You don't want to get soft cheated out of your wins. Just FYI. So you remember that. But I think this deck is solid. It's got a lot of consistency. I mean, when you really look at down to the nitty gritty of it, I mean, card destruction is basically our third draw card. We got solar recharge, card destruction, because we have a lot of cards that we want in the grave. Um, or cards that, you know, to be honest with you, I mean, everybody gets a brick hand. Card destruction is a way to get out of a brick hand. I mean, I've drawn a few wolves and a Thrasher and can't use those, card destruction, ditch him, hopefully draw something I can use. So, I mean, I think you guys, I can't remember which, which duel it was, but there's a duel where I summon Lumina and then I ditch Wolf and then I ended up milling a Wolf or another a Raiden, but if I hadn't, you know, had that Raiden been drawn off of card destruction, now I had an initial target for Lumina, so that was good. Um... I mean, everything look is pretty solid. We've got a lot of our disruptors, our main deck disruptors now, thanks to Honest, Fairy Tail, uh, Ash, and Valor, and Rise to Full Height. We have main deckable. Uh, Lightsworn now has just main deckable disruption. I mean, we literally have all the everything you could ever want. I mean, it's a very light based Lightsworn deck, so that's awesome. We're you know we're not as affected by cards like Rivalry and Gozen. 
I mean, we have different types, but, you know, we're not as affected by those cards. Excuse me. Oh. I don't know why I'm yawning up a storm out here, but I am. Whew. And I'm not, I, to be honest with you guys, it's pretty solid. I mean, there are going to be cards that are still going to hurt. Like, you know, if you make a board, like, if you get, like, the busted in hand and you open up and you end on a board of, like, Kyrios and Dragster and, you know, Archfiend Abyss with, like, an Ash and an Honest in hand and somebody, you know, raw spear mode you, well, that sucks, but. <laughs> It is what it is on that front, but basically this is this is what I came up with. I think this is what I will play for the beginning of this new format or until it goes away, because I think it's, it's a short one. I think they mentioned something like it might change in November. If I if what I remember seeing is correct. So for the time being, this is what I think I'm going to play personally, because Lightsworn, as you guys know, is my, my number one favorite deck. Uh, dinosaurs being a close second. And I haven't had a chance to experiment with, with dinosaurs yet, but I will. Um... But yeah, if you like this Lightsworn deck, you know, guys, let me know what you think I could do to improve this deck with cards that are currently already here. Leave that in the comments below. Let me know uh, what you guys want to see going forward here in the future on this new ban list. I can even do a discussion on it if you want. That's up to you. I'll let, I'll let you guys tell me that in the comments. And if you're new here, maybe you please, would you please maybe consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. I'm so close to 200. I'm really excited to break that, that little mark there. I'm all about them small wins. So, you know, if you guys want to help me push me over to the 200 mark, please consider subscribing if you're new here. And if you're one of my already subscribers, please do me a favor and share my videos with other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, your other Yu-Gi-Oh friends. It would be greatly appreciated. I mean, I, I, I already can't thank you enough for you guys to get me this far. <laughs> If you want me to be honest, I never thought I would see the day where I would have a channel with a couple hundred subscribers, or, you know, or close to a couple hundred subscribers ever again. And you guys have already are already getting me super close to that. And I, you know what, I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic tonight. So, uh, or not nostalgic, that's not the right word. Thankful. I told you guys it's late. <laughs> uh, but the point is, I'm feeling grateful, and I want you guys to know that if you're subscribed to me, thank you. And, uh... You know, I that's that's all I got to say on that front. So uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'm Ben Tazwajo, your friendly neighborhood Yu-Gi-Oh superhero. I'm signing off, and I'm hopefully gonna go finally get some shut eye. So, <laughs> peace, guys.